Good afternoon. How are you good doing up. today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Welcome to Azma. And how was your event so far? You know, generally describing quality in higher education and all is a very welcome. Move, yeah. Especially when the government is uh, implementing uh, national education policy, which has several uh, good features. And it's always necessary to understand the implicate, implementation part Mm -hmm. and generally the implications for higher education. Yes. So these kind of uh, uh, programs will always help because there are experts from different areas sure. coming in, sure. people from education, people from industry. So each one has uh, their own uh, view. And I suppose uh, at the end of the day, something useful comes up, Yes. which can be uh, used by the government. Yeah. And maybe by the implementing institutions definitely, as well. Definitely, definitely. It's going to benefit everybody. So, um, I have two questions for you, sir. Yeah. Not very rapid. You yeah. can uh, take your time. The very first question is, is the government stand of taking down publishing journals for the students pursuing PhD was necessary? No, there, see, there are several views of uh, looking at... Uh, you know, a research. Mm -hmm. For example, in, uh, while doing research, you have uh, you you need to really understand the background before answering that question. Mm -hmm. You have uh, qualitative research. You have quantitative research, and within that uh, space, you also have uh, you know anecdotal research. You have uh, you know a theoretical research, you have experimental research. And uh, you have empirical research and so on. So there are different aspects of research. Yeah. And uh, it's very possible to publish papers in certain disciplines. And uh, because there is hands-on work and, you know, uh, uh, the uh, creation of postulations, creation of, you know, uh, taking a position, and so on. Those those things happen in a lot of research that's being done. Uh, but in the so when you when you're looking uh, to basic sciences, uh, then uh, for example physics, mathematics, yes. or whatever, you have uh, you can uh, create a new idea, you can create a new postulation, you yes. can or you can extend somebody's work into. Uh, something more uh, where uh, you can possibly come out with new outcomes, new ways of looking at things mm. and so on. That's, what, that's how science has progressed. True. But it's very necessary to uh, not to duplicate effort. Mm. Uh, like for, for example, if I'm doing uh, research in a certain subject, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's, it, what is it? it it's a research. You yes, know, there is yes. something there and you are searching it. Yes, yes, but, yes. So therefore, uh, it's very necessary to connect with my peers, my people outside there who are also doing similar work, exchange notes, understand <clears throat> more about the subject. They may have a different view, yes. which may help you. Yes. You know, things like that. Or you may have a view which may help them. So uh, in research, all this happens and uh, the entire ecosystem must be trained towards that, which means that I have to exchange my information. Yes, thoughts and yes. Of course, my information also has to be, uh, you know, copyrighted in some true, way. True. So therefore, people create their own websites yes. and they publish uh, with, uh, you know, digital signatures and, and so on. Uh, so that's a way of publishing. Yes. And uh, when I conduct in experimental research, when I conduct uh, experiments, you know, to prove or disprove something, then I need to publish those results. True. And that comes out in the form of a publication. So a publication uh, must happen in good journals. Yes. And be also cited upon. Yes. Uh, other people should read my yes. uh, paper yes. and then cite my work yes. in their work uh, or to do something else and mm -hmm. so on. That is how the knowledge grows. Correct. Okay. Correct. So uh, there is a lot of data in, in the world. So this data must be translated when it is collated, 
then it becomes information. Yes. And when I collect all the information, it becomes knowledge. Yes. So research, the goal must be to create the new knowledge yes. for which I must publish. Yes. So uh, now this is, this is one part of it. Unfortunately, what the regulators have done is related these uh, events of publishing and so on mm -hmm. to the progress that a faculty makes in his True. professional life, in his yes. uh, professional life, which which means that I become an associate professor only if I have two papers published, or I become a professor only when all that happens. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And similar is the case with uh, PhD. You probably know. I, True. In order to be get into a teaching profession, I need a uh, PhD. Yes. And uh, in order for P PhD to be done, I need to publish. Yes. So all these has become mandatory rather than driven by the Passion. quest for knowledge. Yes, yes, yes. So therefore, the degradation begins there. The degeneration begins there. True. And because I have to complete my PhD, I'll publish something. Yes. Because I have to become an assistant professor or a professor, I publish something. Yes. And there are any number of uh, journals, predatory journals, you know, mm -hmm. which publish my work. Mm. And uh, there are journals where I pay and publish. Mm. You know. So it's not knowledge that is driving the publication, but it's something else that yes. is driving the publication. Yes. So in that scenario. That's yeah. The general work goes down, yeah. and uh, the the country's uh, you know image yes. in the research world is mm. questioned. Yes. yes. So uh, the answer to that is uh, doing away with publication is is probably not right. Yes. So therefore, it's just a platform. Uh, therefore, you need to uh, check your systems, your mm. The quality. journals, the predatory, predatory journals must be stopped, must be banned. And you should probably come out with a list of, very select list of uh, journals, which are good, credible, and people should be encouraged to publish in those journals. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, there, there is a premium. You should attach a premium to the work that is being done. True. So if you uh, let that go loose, mm. you know, then all these things will happen. True. But then our system is so large. There are so many people, so many uh, people publishing something. And it's very difficult to keep control of that. Yes, quality check is impossible. Uh, so therefore, when you create a research ecosystem, you must be uh, very clear on what kind of journals they can be published in. Yes. For example, the Asso Association for... Uh, Ranking of world universities, ERW, which is mm. one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, it seeks uh, people. I mean, some of mm. the parameters for its accreditation mm -hmm. are like how many Nobel laureates are there uh, as your alumni yes. of your yeah. university. Yeah. Then, how many Nobel laureates are there as your faculty mm. in the institution? What is the citation index? of the institution, of the individual, mm. and so on. And how many citations per, you know, uh, uh, hundred uh, have been cited mm -hmm. from that particular researcher? So these kind of questions are there. Yeah. And all this cannot cap happen if you are publishing in some godforsaken journal and True. where uh, nobody questions the authenticity of the results. Yes. That's the problem. You know? True. Very well said, sir. I think so. Now, the next question is, don't you think mandating publications for graduations places a poor metric on PhD student skills? I think I similar? already asked that. Yeah, Very similar, yes. On PhD student skills and has detrimental effects on PhD tra training. Very similar. I think what you... Yeah. That entire no, true, uh, I mean, stretch, uh, yes. Any poor work mm -hmm. will always uh, uh, impact the uh, the outcomes. Yes. So yes. whether it's... Uh, see, there, in the world, there is always a debate mm -hmm. of a, a good teaching institution, mm -hmm. which is also doing research. True. And a good research institution, which is also doing teaching. Teaching, yes. So this debate will always be there. Mm. But then for a good teacher, mm. to be a good teacher, 
he must do research he must yes uh, you know go to the i know in uh, institutions where uh, people you know are given some subject to teach mm -hmm. so they go to the library mm -hmm. pick up uh, a two three books which they must have uh, mm -hmm. used while mm -hmm. doing their phd mm -hmm. and uh, Uh, therefore uh, they would want to uh, use the same books yeah. so they they pick up those books in the beginning of the year yeah. and uh, and return them while we, uh, at the end <laughs> you know so uh, research is extremely important and it can impact uh, but uh, insisting that uh, graduates should do research and publish papers may also be a little i mean it's it's an exposure that uh, probably is being talked about yes the quality would improve only when the faculty is involved in research okay. yes thank you so much thank sir you. it was our complete honor to have you i hope you have a fabulous day, day here at us thank you so thank much you.